It is another day. Um, I just thought I would record today because I have a lot going on and I just wanted to bring you along for it because I think we could be really productive together. I know it can be hard for us, a lot of people, to get ourselves up and do things and I definitely struggle with that every single day actually and um, it's a huge problem in my life a lot of the time but I have a lot of things I need to get done and I've been kind of on like an energy roll I guess or I've been doing little things in the morning that kind of make me get up and do stuff um so yeah I mean, that's where I'm at so I'm gonna get ready like getting ready always helps me kind of get my shit together you know and feel like I uh hey hey Hupsy. no mommy says no okay that worked. <laughs> uh, all I need to do is use a tone with him and then he just stops. Okay. What was I saying? Yeah. Getting ready in the morning always helps me kind of like get energy to do stuff. So we love that. Hey. No. I mentioned in my previous videos like how dressing is stressful for me sometimes. Like getting ready for the day and like not like move changing out of my pajamas. Um, and so how I like adopted a uniform. Um, and so I'm wearing one of my uniforms. <laughs> and it's like it's just so easy because I get up you know I go brush my teeth I drink my water I take my meds and then I go to my closet and I have everything just laid out let me just show you guys really quickly and I have everything hung up in just outfit sets so it's just so easy to just get ready and grab something that's gonna look good like this whole section the bottom section of my closet is just outfit sets like everything comes with top and bottom they are all like yeah full outfits i guess and it's stuff i'm comfortable wearing it's stuff that like is appropriate for the weather it's stuff that i feel like i look good in right and it's like 100 degrees out so it's appropriate for the weather and i feel look cute in it and it just like helps me kind of feel like i can take on the day um but yeah so I don't know, uniforms, like a uniform for me has really helped because otherwise I would just like not know where to find my tops or my bottoms or whatever and tough, tough stuff. He even sounds like he's doing something bad over there. So I'm gonna go and control him in a moment. Okay, anyway, so I have a lot of things I need to do. So we're gonna run some errands. We are going to clean my apartment. My apartment's a mess. Um, what else am I doing? Oh, I'm going to a meeting today, so I'm going to hang out with some friends, I think before or after. Um, I have work. It's a Monday. Um, and yeah, so my apartment's a huge mess right now. Um, and we're going to clean that up and hopefully maybe you can clean your space. Even just what's around you, a quick little cleanup might be a good way to start your day. I don't know while you're watching this video. Um, but yeah, let's do it together. I am going to go take Humpty on a walk first. Um, it's really hot out, so we're just going to go for a very, very quick walk just to go to the bathroom, and then we'll be back inside and get our day started. Ready? He's ready. Before we get into the rest of the video, I just wanted to talk about Magic Mind. Magic Mind is a mental performance shot that I have been drinking for about two and a half years now, and I love it, so I want to share it with y'all. It is just a little drink, comes in a little bottle, that I take daily, usually in the morning, but sometimes in the afternoon, and sometimes twice, that is full of really great ingredients that I have actually been taking long before I started taking Magic Mind. Um, if you're on this channel and you know my story, you know that I struggle with ADHD, with attention deficit issues, with cognitive function issues, with fatigue, just like a host of issues having to do with a brain that's not fully, you know, at its peak. And I know that a lot of my viewers also deal with some of these issues. And so that's what I wanted to share with y'all. Um, so some of the ingredients that I really love in this product is um, ashwagandha, lion's mane mushroom, rhodiola rosea, curcumin. 
and actually a host of other ones that are really great for your brain. The nootropics in there help with your focus, the matcha helps with a little bit of energy, there's just a little bit of caffeine in here, not much, and I'm pretty averse to caffeine, but this has just a little bit, and also it doesn't cause the crash that caffeine usually causes me. So something I love about that is it's a little boost of energy that also doesn't cause the crash. So yeah, just comes in a little drink like this. I usually shake it up because there's, I think, turmeric that gathers at the bottom. Um, turmeric is for inflammation of the body, by the way. And I used to take turmeric one time. I never mind. Sorry for another day, but just comes in a little shot tastes really good and i'm a big fan so on the bottle it says it boosts energy and focus crushes procrastination and elevates mental clarity and these are some of the things that i've definitely seen an improvement in my life since using this product for the last two years pretty regularly and so i love it so it also includes a bunch of your daily vitamins that you need so if you're not taking your daily vitamin you can just pop this and you'll get some of the really good ones you can get a subscription for it or you can just get um try it for one time order you can use my code for a discount it's anita20 or follow the link that's down below in the description box which is www.magicmind.co slash anita20 um so i will also write it down here but yeah definitely go check it out i am a huge fan it's non-addictive, there's no crash, it promotes a calm energy, and it's just something that has been like a vital part of my routine. Like as I mentioned in my earlier video, there's like a bunch of things I do in the morning that help me to kind of get in the mood to do the things that I need to do, and drinking Magic Mind is one of them. So yeah, and if Magic Mind isn't for you, if you don't end up loving it like I do, you can get a full refund within 100 days as well. But I have a feeling that you'll like it as much as I do. Don't forget to check out the discount code down below, follow the link, whatever you'd like, but let me know if you try it and if you love it as much as I do. Now let's get back into it. Um, so I just got back from the dog walk and I need to clean my apartment. My apartment is a mess. I don't know if I'm going to show it to y'all. Maybe I'll show it to y'all so y'all can understand what I'm going through with that. I'm just like y'all. Bed. Side table. Bag of recycling that I've needed to throw up for a while. Living room. Lots of stuff. And then I really need to get this, take this out of my apartment because it has been sitting there for a while and I don't want it. Okay, let's get started. Okay, my apartment is clean, which I'm really excited about because it's Monday and it kind of feels like, oh, my apartment is clean, my life is together, and I can go through the rest of the week. But I just want to quickly show you some stuff I bought. It's just like lifestyle, like beauty, whatever stuff, but I'm really excited about it, so I just want to show you guys. I haven't opened it because I wanted to show you guys, but I bought it a few days ago. There was like a, mar I love like where I live. Where I live is so amazing and conducive to a happy life. There's just always so much happening. And there was like a little market, um, it was called Dog Days, and a lot of the shops on the road um, and it's a pretty bustling street uh, bars restaurants shopping you know and they had sales um, and so there's this one shop that I always go into and it's pretty expensive but like occasionally I'll just buy something I bought a chair there that was kind of random because they don't have a lot of furniture it's mostly like housewares and stuff but anyway it's called salt and sundry and I love it and I got these items so I got this everyday oil um, from Mainstay and these things were both really expensive but I've been looking at them for so long and they were a sale and it's just like an oil for everything I guess and it's oh my god it smells amazing I'm gonna put some on my head too um I struggle like I wake up every day in slight pain just or worse pain it depends on the day and some days like like today I woke up with a headache and brain fog which doesn't feel great but putting a little bit of like peppermint oil or I don't know what on my temples it kind of helps me like clear things up um, and it's full of all these oils coconut oil olive oil jojoba oil castor oil argan oil it has palo santo palo santo palo santo that's wild harvested okay lavender geranium clary sage um, and 
whenever I, like, I see these things and I see that they're super expensive, I'm like, I could just make that. Like, I'm just gonna make that. And then I never make it. So I've been like eyeing this thing for a while and it smells so good. Like you can use it as a moisturizer. You can use it again, like on your temples, bunch of stuff. And then this candle, this candle also very expensive. It's from Mar Mar Los Angeles. It's the St. Martin um, candle. It has notes of hashish, nag champa, don't know what that is, vervain, and mesquite. So it's this little candle, and I think it's really cute, first of all, which isn't like a huge factor, but oh my god, it smells so good. I cannot wait to light it, um, because I'm going to. It just like smells, it's not like a sweet smell or anything like that, it just smells like it's going to clear your head and clear your sinuses which we all know my sinuses are not doing well. Um, sniff, sniff. Um, okay, but yeah, just so excited about these two. And again, they were definitely splurges, but um, I haven't spent much money in the last, I need to do like a money YouTube video. I know that those are really popular on my channel as well. So if you want one, let me know because I've been like doing pretty good about saving. I have the most savings I've ever had in my life. And it's really cool because I went from having like, 30k and not 30k 21k in consumer debt credit card debt um i still have consumer debt but it's like in the form of a car and a house you know so a little different now than credit card debt um but yeah i have lots of savings and things are going well so i might just do a money video because i know people like that um but i'm gonna go to target now um i've been using my apps my note apps notes app lately to organize my life and like what I need and what I'm gonna buy and um, so I have a mini blender safety pins paper towels toilet paper question mark I need to check if I have toilet paper um, and I've done some of these things already on my to-do list but it's really simple I go through phases of using different like productivity apps and stuff and right now it's notes app very simple I just drew up a little template and I just copy paste every day and that's what I've been doing and it's been working for now but again I get bored and then I have to change things up so we'll see how long that lasts hopefully a while because then I have to find a new productivity app and that's not gonna be fun anyway let's get going store I went to Target and Lidl I'll show you what I got I need a paper towels so yeah my paper towel holder kind of sucks and so I don't know if these big ass rolls are gonna fit but we're gonna try and then protein bars because sometimes I'm not super hungry but I need to eat and so I just little shovel one of these down my throat I forgot chamomile great okay and then I got a bunch of lunchables because easy protein and I don't have to think these are like my go-to when I'm not doing well and that but I know I need to eat Lunchables. I love Target clothing. They always get me. And then I got a fancier Lunchable. Um, I love the wine infused ones. And first, Target and Lidl. Target, embarrassing, but my hard cooked boiled eggs. Um, Greek yogurt. Mandarins for again easy eating. It's just one of the foods that like I can pick up and go in the morning. It's something that I've eaten that day so far, so it's good. Um, and then figs. We used to have a fig tree um, by our pool growing up and loved figs. We'd be, it'd be like 85 degrees and we'd be swimming and then we'd reach up and grab a fig. Just incredible. I have great memories of fig, eating figs. So I got some figs. Honey. Just chicken. I like, they have two just chickens, but I like this one better from Trader Joe's. Um, banana and almond butter protein smoothies. These are cheaper than the Koya ones I buy from Whole Foods, but I will buy the Koya ones every once in a while. Um, Trader Joe's has a bunch of protein drinks like these, but these have no sugar added, so I like that. And then chicken nuggets. I like to make sandwiches or just eat them by themselves. I will do that. And then Perfect Bar, just one of these. 
They're really high in protein. And then a lasagna I'm gonna freeze and basil. Um, so I am going to make a chicken Sonoma salad at some point. I don't know when, which is why I bought all the chicken and the yogurt and a bunch of stuff. Because the Whole Foods one is delicious and I love to just snack on it. But I, it's so expensive. It's like $12 a pound or something. I don't know, half pound, I don't know. So expensive. So I bought some chicken and I have like half the ingredients already. And so I'm gonna make that so I can snack on that. But yeah, I'm gonna put everything away now. And then what am I gonna do? I have to look for something in my apartment, so I need to look for that. Okay. I'm sure you've seen He's got more muscles, and that's what you Okay, so I worked for a bit, um, but now I stopped working because I got distracted and now I, I have been walking around my apartment just like touching things for the last few minutes. Um, so I am gonna stop working for now because, what's the point? I think I wanna clean. I think my body's telling me to clean. Um, because otherwise I would just sit there staring at my computer and not doing anything. Um, but I think I have the whimsy to clean. So I'm gonna use that and clean and then maybe I'll wanna pay attention to work later. Hopefully, because it is my job. Anyway, let's tidy. I'm gonna listen to music. I'm gonna put on my Discover Weekly. It's Tuesday and yeah. today maybe eating will help um but my manager just asked me to get something done and so i'm gonna do it in the next like 30 do it for the next 30 minutes and then i'm gonna walk home to eat and then i have two more meetings and then i'm meeting up with my friend and yeah that's what's up no get down get down get down no All right, we are done with the work day. I would give the day overall a five out of 10. I did not feel great all day and I have so much work to do, but I'm glad it's over. I am gonna go to an AA meeting right now. I'm gonna meet up with a friend there. Um, I'm gonna leave Humpty here because it's way too hot out there. And yeah, so I'm gonna go to AA meeting. I might go to Core Power, but I kind of just cannot wait to get in bed and read tonight. I've been reading The Secret History by Don Tart again. I read it few years ago super good but yeah just not feeling great but that's okay still got a lot done it was a productive day and i'm gonna watch low island tonight it's gonna be great and i really love this shirt i showed no i didn't i didn't show it but i bought it recently and look at the back it's so cute i'm dead there's matching bottoms but i didn't want to wear it, like a little tiny set to the aa meeting so i thought i'd put on longer pants so i did even though it's hot but yeah i'm gonna go What's up, y'all? I am getting ready because I'm going out on a date. I'm back. Okay, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna do my makeup. It's been a long, it's been a long day. I had a lot of work to do and so I did that. And then, what else did I do? Oh, I walked my dog, obviously. And then I don't remember what else I did. Oh, I went to therapy. I met my therapist for the first time in person. So that was an experience and we talked a lot about like two things that 
kind of triggered me last week and I'm not going to share them here because that's personal too personal even though I always, I always share really personal things on here we're not sharing that no right now anyway I worked through them and I kind of told her how I worked through them and then I was just telling her about all these things and about dating and how I feel now that I'm back on my, on my medication and I was just talking telling her about like the ups and downs that I've been feeling and I don't know just about everything my past what I was like when I was a little bit younger just stuff and she goes you know, I think you should get a second opinion. And I'm like, what? And she's like, I think you should get a second opinion on your diagnosis. And I was like, what do you mean? Okay, girl, you obviously are thinking something here about me and my brain. You're not gonna say what it is. And she's like, yeah, I think you should talk to a psychiatrist. Like, I don't think she wanted to say it because I don't think she's a psychiatrist. And so she's not supposed to be like, you have this, right? But by then my interest was peaked right because I thought I'd gotten all my diagnoses and so I was like what is this woman hiding um and so I was like pressing her because I was like what do you think I have that I should go and look into um and she was like like a mood disorder or something I don't know she just said something and that was perfectly vague because I didn't think too much about it I was just like okay but a mood disorder can cover like a million different things so she was pretty smart saying that. Anyway, yeah, that's what she had to say. Um, so I'm gonna get a second opinion. And also she said something about like not working well with my psychiatrist. Um, and I've had my psychiatrist for like four years and I've known her for three months. So that was brave of her to be like, you need to switch psychiatrists. Um, but I'm gonna get a second opinion because I don't know what she meant by that. I don't know if she knows that I'm diagnosed with ADHD and ADHD is a mood disorder. So maybe that's what she was talking about. Um, the only th other thing I could think is like bipolar because I definitely like have some like woo, you know um, And my sister has bipolar, but also like I feel like I might not have that because I'm pretty managed Except when I'm not Anyway, I'm gonna get a second opinion see what they have to say Because I like to know what's wrong with me Some people are afraid to find out what's wrong with them But I like to know because then I can do something about it. But anyway, that's where we're at I'm gonna go on a date with this guy. I think he might be too tall, but we're gonna see. We're going to a restaurant. I was on a date last night. That was fun. That was cool. Um, and I have a lot of plans this weekend. I'm excited. I'm gonna go to Spa World with some friends on Saturday. Um, it's one of those Asian spas, so that's gonna be fun. And then I'm gonna go see Corn Pop too on Saturday, which is really exciting. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna finish getting ready. Cool. Good morning, everyone. I just uh, got back from my dog walk with Humpty. It was a nice walk. I put sunscreen on his head. He has a middle part. I think it's really funny. I don't know why. Maybe all dogs have like hair parts, but he has a middle part. Humpty, come here. Show them your middle part. Look. He has like a middle. Okay, you can't really see it because the sunscreen kind of like changed the middle part, but I love that he has a middle part. I think it's so funny. Anyway, what was I saying? Okay, went on a walk. Something awkward that happened last night. So I was on my nightly walk and I live on this road that's really busy. Lots of bars, lots of restaurants. So super busy on like a Saturday night. And I was walking with Humpty and I took him on a long walk and then I went back on the other side of the street. And there's this bar and um, on Hinge, I was talking to this guy for a while uh, and he works there. And I was like, oh, like if you ever see a girl walking by with her dog, like, like, I don't know, not like actually go look for me, but you know, like, that's me. Anyway, we didn't end up meeting up. Other people were very communicative and inviting me on dates and he didn't say anything. So I just like, stopped responding because I was busy with all these other dates. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, then I, I didn't respond. And then he messaged me, asked me if I wanted to go for drinks, which is just like, I don't know, read my profile, it says I'm sober. And maybe he meant like a coffee or something, but you can say that a lot of people, there, a lot of people say, do you wanna go for a coffee? Because they read my profile, right? Anyway, so I just didn't respond. But last night I was walking my dog and I forgot that it was possible that I might see this man. And I walked right past him and we made eye contact. And I don't know if he knew it was me, but I feel like he did because I was just there walking my dog and I was a girl and he's, that was what I looked like because of Hinge. But it was awkward because I didn't respond to him. Anyway, I'm gonna have breakfast. That was a very long-winded story for like a small climax, but 
that's what happened. Humpty hungers. Um, but Humpty Moe. Okay, but yeah, I'm gonna have a little snack. I'm going on a date in a bit with this guy. I went on like a few dates this week, like a lot. I feel like Jake, Jake's always going on a million dates. Well, not anymore, he has a girlfriend, but he was going on like a million dates. And they all are pretty good. Two of them I'm pretty interested in and the one I'm really interested in. But I'm trying, I'm gonna go, probably if they all ask me to go on second dates with all of them. I'm gonna go on second dates with probably all of these guys. We'll see like all of them and they're all pretty different so I don't know anyway I'm just gonna have some fruit but because I'm going to un je ne sais quoi which is a French bakery patisserie and we're gonna get pastries and coffee grip my profile very useful and then we're gonna go to the Renwick gallery I love a day date like love it there's they're my favorite like I love a date where we meet up at 11 or 12 and then we hang out till 3 because I still have my morning and my evening which are my favorite part of the day for like me myself I like that's like when I get all my stuff done at work that's when I can relax and so I like having dates during the day but yeah that's what's up also, another thing that's um, fun about dating, okay, so like, I know that people say things like, oh, girls go out for dinner with boys so they can get dinner and drinks bought for them. And I do not do that. I can buy my own dinner and drinks. But every, they all keep ordering three courses and I, I don't eat very much. And so I'm taking home all this food and it's great because I don't cook. And I was like, when I got back from uh, Washington, I was like, I'm gonna have to go to the grocery store and buy the, I haven't like, um, and again, like it's not, you know, but it just so happens. Cause I keep ordering three courses and I can't finish all that fucking food. Like, and I'm like, how do I tell them not to order so much? But anyway, heating up some leftovers, delicious. Uh, little leftover. It's ready. Fries and I was like, wow. Oh yeah, help yourself. Wow. What is that help about? yourself. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to close out um, and end this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that y'all had a productive time. I know I did. Don't forget to check out Magic Mind. It's down below. I've got a link and a discount code for y'all. The link is www.magicmind.co forward slash Anita20. Don't forget to check it out. Let me know if you like it and I'll see you guys soon.